guys, it's your girl Erin and her little co-star Lacey. Say hi to the camera, little Spooky. She's very happy to be here. As you can see, her tail is wagging. Anyway, this morning I have been reading a great deal, and I've made a promise to myself that I would read at least two chapters of a romance novel every day. I finished reading one romance novel, I started another, and I wanted to do a book wrap-up of all the Kindle reads that I've been doing. And, Lacey, stop. <laughs> and I have been reading a bunch of Kindle novels with all different genres, and I just wanted to talk about them. First off we have is Wolfheart by Shay Roberts. It is a supernatural romance novel, and my rating is five stars. It is a favorite indefinitely. And then another book is The City of Ember by Jeanne Duprau. That is a children's fiction, dystopian fiction novel, and when I was a kid, that was the book that kind of jump-started me into reading dystopian novels. So I was super happy to read that again after I found it on my Kindle that I completely forgot about. And since I have over 800 books on my Kindle, it's kind of difficult to read every single one of them. So anyway, that is... A rating of four stars I give it and I would definitely consider it a childhood favorite and then another book that is like the worst Kindle book that I've ever read is False the Shadow by Skip Horak and that genre I'm not even sure what it is but I didn't even give it one star on Goodreads even though I had to give it one star because that's the least amount of stars you can give it and it isn't even on the list of my least favorite books just because I hate it so much. Oh my goodness. But talking about another great book is If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. That is a young adult fiction LGBTQ romance. I gave it five stars. It is definitely a total favorite. It is the best Kindle romance novel I have read this summer so far. And I'm really pleased with the way it turned out, and I really hope that Meredith Russo, who is a transgender woman herself, comes out with a sequel because I want to know if Amanda and Grant stay together. Because, well, I just want to know. <laughs> and then another book that I was reading was Vapor by Alexia Purdy, which is a supernatural novel. I gave it two stars. It is on the middle of the list of favorites and least favorites. And my co-star just left me. Elvis has left the building! <laughs> That's so weird. Another book that I read was The Goblin Necromancer at, by Aubrey Loft. And it is a fantasy novel. It's a part of a series. I forget the series anyway. But I gave it uh, three stars. It is another middle of the favorites list. And then another book that I read with a genre that I have no idea what it is is The Girl in the Den of Wolves by R.J. Law. I gave it two stars. It is on the lower end of the favorites book list. One book that I really did like was Strange Start by Gail Katz, which is a horror zombie fiction novel. I gave it three stars. I wanted more, but uh, if organizing it into a certain class, I'd have to say that the novel was an upper middle class sort of book. Although I still hated Jane's parents because they were forcing her to become a doctor and she really didn't want to become a doctor and they weren't paying attention to her and accepting her individuality because all they were thinking was, oh, she'll be the first doctor in the family. We want her to be a doctor. We are planning out her future. And if you know me, I hate when that happens. It's never happened to me, but I can't really stand people who are like that just because it's like, okay, we are forcing our opinions onto you. And we don't give a damn about your opinion or what you want. So I just think that's a very selfish notion. And then the final Kindle book that I have read was Valmont's Descent by Matthew Callahan. It is high fantasy. Not as good as Game of Thrones, but better than The Innocent Mage by Karen Miller. And I gave it two stars. And to be honest, it is on the lower end of my favorite books spectrum. And I really hate saying that about a fantasy book, because fantasy is my love, oh my god. Um, with fantasy being my favorite genre... Oh, uh, speaking of which, have you seen how Game of Thrones ended? Oh my god, no write-out spoilers if you haven't seen the end yet. 
but you can expect an oh my gods wet of Westeros sort of moment, and I was just like, <gasps> no! For some things, and then with, like, Arya's ending, I'm just like, okay, this could be a spin-off series. So anyway, back to Valmont's Descent. I enjoyed it. There are some things that I didn't enjoy about it, but I still love it just because it's fantasy, and I'm sort of torn on that. Anyway, those are just a few Kindle books that I've read this May, and I really hope that you enjoy the books too, so leave a like below, comment on what Kindle book is your favorite, and subscribe to my BookTube channel to get more YouTube videos like this. Have a great day!